Hi, today I'm going to make one of our very, very old traditional uh, food, which is, it takes long time to cook, but it is so delicious and good that it's worth the time and effort. So for this, uh, uh, people uh, make with different kind of meat, but I like to make it with beef. I don't like lamb, some people make it with lamb. So what I have here is like over a pound of uh, beef back ribs. Uh, but as long as it, the meat has bone, you can use any other meat you want. But for my purpose, this works very well. So I have this uh, back ribs and I have gotten rid of some of the fat. So what we are gonna, I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in a big pot because we are going to cook this for a very long time. So uh, here. Um, I'm going to add one whole um, red onion. You can use uh, gold onion, any onion you want. And one uh, big uh, tomato, which I uh, picked, I took the core off. And uh, I have three dry lemon. Uh, if you don't have dry lemon, that's fine. You can use lemon later. So what I'll do, I'm gonna make a hole in these lemons. And add to the pot. And I'm also going to add uh, half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to fill this with water and cook it for at least three, three and a half hours. The first half an hour, uh, it's gonna be in a high heat. As long as, soon as it starts boiling, I'm gonna lower it and make it cook lower. And the way you know it's uh, cooked well is when you uh, pick up the bone, you, really, you see that the meat is falling from the bone. So I'm gonna fill this up with water and let it cook for at least three and a half hours. Okay, it's been almost four hours and uh, our uh, meat is very well cooked. And like I said, if you grab it, this one actually, the bone already fell. So when uh, we'll pick up the bones, be careful, it's very hot. And it has lots of fat too. If you like uh, more fat, that's fine, but I uh, get rid of some of the fat. Because uh, it's already cooked and has all the nutrition from the bone in the juice already. So, okay. See how easily the bone comes off? So that's how you know it's cooked. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to pick up the tomatoes. Remember, we put the whole tomato. I'll take off the tomato and the onion. Onion almost very cooked too. I'll take off the onion too. Okay. Okay. And to this, I'm going to add another half a teaspoon of salt. I don't want to add too much salt now because I can taste later if I it needs salt. And uh, almost little more than half a table uh, tablespoon of uh, black pepper. Uh, one teaspoon of uh, I like. Um, um, turmeric, one teaspoon of turmeric. Uh, I'll add one teaspoon of um, curry powder. If you like it the spicy, you can add some red uh, crushed pepper or jalapeno pepper, anything you want. But uh, in my family, we don't need too spicy. And also, I'm going to add uh, three teaspoon of, it's called savory or marza. You can find it in uh, Middle Eastern or Armenian stores or maybe online and this is the fresh one if you want to use the fresh one however the uh, dry one is better so I'm going to add a three teaspoon of uh, a dried uh, marza and if you can't find marza you can uh, definitely use uh, the right time it will be the same so I'm going to use one of my old-fashioned smashers which is all the smasher and I'm going to smash this all together. So I'm going to smash the tomato and the onions. Okay. 
and I'm going to add it to my pot, to my meat and the juice. I'm also going to add uh, a, a 16 ounce tomato sauce. If you don't have tomato sauce, you can use a tomato paste, like two, three tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm going to add two 16 ounce of cooked uh, chickpeas and one can 16 ounce of uh, beans. You could use um, pinto beans, uh, white beans or kidney beans, any kind of beans cooked. And I'm also going to add a three medium size of potato peeled already to my pot and uh, one uh, handful of actually or one cup of uh, chopped uh, cilantro to the pot. Okay, we have put all the ingredients in, so we are going to put it back on the stove and cook for another half an hour. I put all the ingredients together, so uh, we are going to let them cook for another half an hour, 40 minutes. So uh, they get together and specifically to get the uh, potatoes cooked. So I'm going to put it back to the stove and cook for another half an hour, 40 minutes. Now our abgust is completely cooked. So we are going to, what we are going to do, we are going to uh, separate the meat from the juice and smash the meat and serve it with the juice separately. So slowly take the meat and potatoes and the chickpeas and beans out of the um, our pot and put it in a different pot so we can smash it with the smasher. Okay, our meat is ready to mash, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little uh, like pinch of salt and pepper to the meat before smashing.
tea they are done, we are done. We smashed the meat and uh, all the ingredients and this is the juice. So you are not gonna have too much uh, juice, but you're gonna have enough for a few people. So this is how we eat it. We uh, just uh, put some bread in the plate <laughs> and we soak it in the juice. Uh, I use lavash, but you can uh, eat with pita or any other bread you like, but it works better with lavash. So first we eat this, but people eat it differently. We eat this like this. Mm. So good. And then we eat the meat separately, but you can always mix it together if you want to. And this is how I eat the meat. I just uh, put it in the bread. And like I said, lavash or pita. And we always have some um, appetizers go with it. I have some greeneries. Uh, this is mint and tarragon. And I have like some pepper and onion. Green onions actually goes well with this too. So you can eat it with whatever you like. And I hope you make it enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe. And see you next time. Thank you.